Yamaha presents The Whitetail Diaries, chronicling hunting adventures of the most plentiful and intelligent big game animal in North America. Join top whitetail hunters nationwide. Embark on the amazing adventure that is hunting the whitetail deer. Well, it's often said, don't pass on a deer you'd shoot on the last day of the hunt when you see him on the first day of the hunt. <laughs> but with a rut going on and five days ahead of you, it's often done. Now, in this episode of the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries, we spend time in the field with Steve Nessel as he talks about one deer that's been haunting him. Spent last night at the Whitetail Bluff with no luck, but we had a little bit of a change in plans based on where Wade sat last night. Um, he saw a deer that I spent some time with last year, so this is a little bit of a year in the making for me. I saw this buck that we're gonna hunt this morning um, about the same time last year and watched him for an entire, I think it was a morning sit, and then uh, whichever it was, I, I regretted not, not taking him at the time and I hunted him the rest of my trip and ended up not getting a deer this time last year. So I don't know if I'm, uh, nostalgic and just plain dumb that I'm gonna start hunting this guy again. I only have today to do it, but we're gonna go sit where we saw him last year. Uh, same spot and uh, same goal is to hopefully have him come out in front and uh, confirm he's as cool as I think he is because I saw some more footage of him and uh, hopefully get a shot at him. And uh, we got a long walk in, so we're gonna get going and uh, get the X4 and the rest of our gear up into the stand and settle. So I'm sitting there and the lights come, the sun's starting to come up and I see another doe and I'm glassing straight out, straight out from me, kind of over the, the, you know, the top of this one ridge that's out front at about 150 yards when all of a sudden, all I see are horns. And I know right away it's him. And it, it sounds silly and people are like, uh-huh, whatever, but I do. I, from the shape of his horns, from the footage I saw the night from the night before, I know he's darker, but just, way they look. I don't even see the top of his head. I just see his horns kind of doing this over the top of the ridge. And I yelled at Kevin, there he is. And he says, where? And I can't, and I, so we're pointing at each other. And all of a sudden, by the time he's full frame, as far as me and the binoculars and Kevin, we've got him. And he's one of four deer in the setup. I mean, there, usually there can be upwards of two dozen. And um, I don't know if that's because of the rutting action or just what happens at Waiheer Ridge this time of year, but there are four deer in front of me. It's now only 7.15, so it happened quickly and the deer, my eight, is one of them. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Yamaha's proven off-road ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, your adventure starts here. Garmin Zero, leave the guesswork behind. The all-new Yamaha Wolverine X2. With a compact chassis, perfect for exploring tight technical terrain. An ultra-quiet and smooth 850-class twin-cylinder engine. And next-level versatility with a 600-pound dumping cargo bed. No other side-by-side -side delivers this level of proven off-road performance. The all-new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. At Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, we stand together for you. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Steve is hunting the area called the Wahia Ridge, and he's been reunited with a huge buck from last year that he passed on. I don't call him, I call it a gamble, but our hunch paid off. That eight point that I passed on last year, like an idiot, me being the idiot, is back. 
exact, exact same spot I saw him. I hunted him and sat here several more times last year, never and caught a whiff of him. But we're, uh, we're right about it, shooting light, and he's out in front. So if he hangs out for a few more minutes, I'm probably going to get the gun up and give him a go. A little, uh, a little wrinkle in the whole plan was at about the time the deer showed up, uh, my eight walks in, so do about, and th this, I don't think this is an exaggeration, so do 60 sheep in a single file line from off to my left, down the road, up towards, in, just in and amongst the ridge, all around, it's almost like a snow-capped blanket of, it's just ridiculous, there are sheep everywhere. but. Okay, <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's something we're gonna have to deal with. We're on a working ranch, they're there. So we also have to worry about getting this deer broadside, but away from the sheep, don't, away from the does that are around him. So it's a, it's, it's, it's a little bit of a hassle. It's not anything we can't deal with, but it's a little strange to be trying to, to knock down a big mature buck when you got a bunch of bah and going on around you. And uh, it wasn't necessarily a distraction, but it was a little weird. There's a deer behind him, otherwise I'd take that shot. Are you good? I lost him. I came back to you. I lost him. I lost him. I need, I need to look for him. <laughs> Guns clear. Oh, what, what a glorious mess. Sorry, sheep. Oh, I see his seeds down. <laughs> I see he's down. <laughs> he's right there. He's right there. What, what, a, what an, what an awesome deer. I dare I say, what a story, man. I, I haven't been agonizing over the fact that I didn't shoot at that deer last year, but I have been regretting it. Um, and the fact that he showed up a year later, and I don't know yet, but when we go put our hands on him, cause he's right there, I can see him. I love no tracking jobs. It means I did my job. Thank you, sir. You got it, man. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Uh, he he he's just a cool old deer. I think he's a little bit. Not, I think he's. He looks a lot thicker to me. He looks darker in his horns. I'm gonna have to go back and look at footage from last year. So give me the whole story. I mean, did... last year in this spot, I watched this deer walk in, and he was. 10, 20 paces off to my left when I watched him walk in and I'm immediately taken by him and watched him the whole, I think it was an afternoon. And, uh, and he was a dominant buck. He got into one of the most epic fights I've ever seen in my life. And I was on the verge of getting the gun up right before he got into that fight. It just got too late, too dark. And, and I got mad at myself. Um, and I hunted him. Whenever we could come back to this stand with the wind being good, we came back for the rest of my hunt last year until I had run out, run out of time. Never saw him again, never saw him again. And then almost probably, probably a little bit more than a year later, he blessed us with his presence. Uh, he came in from back behind a little ridge. I watched him, <laughs> I'm shaking. <laughs> I watched him walk in. Uh, my knees are gone. Um, just saw the horns before I saw anything coming over the top of the brush. It's probably about a 140, 150 yard shot, which <laughs> for me, I guess I didn't think too much about luckily because I made a second guess myself, but I had a good sight picture with the scope. And I mean, I, we know exactly where he is. He's still, that's a long walk from the stand. Heck yes. Heck yes.
Heck yes. Look. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. That big guy. Yep. Yep. He actually broke. He's trying to grow a little, trying to be a nine point, but. But uh, you are cool as is, big guy. Look at that. Look at this. That is just. That is just awesome. I say it too much, but my requisites for a buck are that they're cool and old. And uh, just this year, I've had the opportunity to, to take a couple, and he is there at the top of the list. Look at this stuff. See all these horns? They, they go forward. He's so cool. So awesome. He's just a whole ton of cool and everything. I mean, just awesome. Awesome. I just love the way it looks from the first time I saw him, which was last year. And I love the way he looks even more now. Much character to it. The two's come up curve and kind of curl in and this stuff this mass all the way through here just just carries it so far what a cool old bug thank you buddy we loaded him up in the x4 drove him back to camp um, we shared him right away with uh, another group that was there and heard the shot were waiting on us they knew the deer we were chasing um, it, it became a camp type effort to be honest with you um, you know, yeah. took some pictures right there, got him back, weighed, saw him, and, and we're all just blown away by how cool this deer was. And I think the underlying thing is, is some of the history and, and the, the backstory to it and the fact that he'd been there the year before. And man, it's, it's, it's so much fun. And, and for a day and a half to be able to get that done, to make a plan and have things unfold, and it's just a cool deal. And, and I'm super glad to be a part of it and to have the opportunity, lucky enough to, to be able to chase a deer like that in consecutive years and, and now he's in the in the cooler and it's fun to be able to, to live this, to do this, to, to get good mature deer but to hopefully help other people want to do the same thing for the future and, uh, and I'll tag along and, and go along for that ride as much as I can. Congratulations Steve on a celebratory conclusion of a year-long hunt. Coming up next, we join Wade as he goes after a massive deer with his performance center handgun. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. Stealth Cam digital scouting cameras, proven. High vis shooting systems, see what you've been missing. Conquest Sense, hunting sense and dog training sense. How do you aim a 36-yard shot with a 30-yard fixed pin at a 15-degree angle with a 7-inch holdover without moving a single pin? Easy. You get one of these. Zero. The auto-ranging digital bow sight from Garmin. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. Protect it or lose it. 
Protect it or lose it. Protect it or lose it. Protect it or lose it. Protect it or lose it. Protect it or lose it. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Wade has really taken to hunting with a handgun in recent years. One of his favorite models for handgun hunting is from the Smith & Wesson Performance Center, the Model 460 XVR, which has the highest muzzle velocity of any production revolver on Earth. Hey, in fact, the Model 460 XVR is so revolutionary that it required an entirely new designation, XVR Extreme Velocity Revolver. Wade has spent a lot of time in the field this season with his handgun and is hoping this hunt is the one that will pay off for him. Well, we got a really high bluebird sky right now, you know, which is pretty typical in Texas after a cold front comes through. Uh, you get that high pressure settles in. Temperatures this afternoon are probably about 60. They're going to plummet as the day goes on with a low tonight about 40. We're really just past the peak of the rut right now, in my opinion. We've got lots of bucks uh, chasing does. We've got lots of uh, still some good fighting action. We're seeing a little bit of scraping going on. I mean, it's, but it's starting to taper off. Some of the bucks are starting to get back on various food sources, starting to get back in a patternable situation. We've got a big eight point that showed up with, I mean, probably 11 inch G2s and 3s that we're looking at. We're gonna go sit in a modified blind. I've had this box blind for probably about 15 years. A buddy of mine, Donnie, built this years ago. It's on wheels. But this past year, because it was so falling apart, we cut the end of it out and turned it into doors. Now we've got doors that will swing open and close in. We put burlap across it and brush. And it's really made a unique situation where the cameraman's gonna be right over my shoulder, so you'll be able to have the same view as I've got. Whether we see a shooter or not, we're going deer hunting, so it's gonna be a great afternoon. This type of hunting situation right here, I'm using a walker silencer. It's perfect for any type of hunting situation, whether you're shotgun hunting for birds or whether you're deer hunting. You can get amplification, but you also get the sound dampening. When you're shooting these big handguns like I am here, that's a 460, it's got a lot of oomph to it, so it makes a lot of noise. This is what I want to put in when I'm out here because I can still move around, I can still hear everything comfortably, and they don't, don't even bother you when you're wearing them. So, you know, if you're going to be in a hunting situation, this is one to protect those ears because if you don't protect it, you're going to lose it. When we return, we'll see if the buck Wade is after shows up. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Smith & Wesson Performance Center. Performance when it matters most. Wiley X, absolute premium protection. Walkers, protect it or lose it. High Viz Shooting Systems knows that your shooting performance matters in all conditions. All high vis shooters experience faster target acquisition with our durable light wave sights. Featuring easily interchangeable light pipes, light wave sights give your eyes the exact sight picture you crave. Shoot high vis 
see what you've been missing. Ingalls got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers go with the original. Introducing the Stealth NXT, the narrowest and most accurate 10 point crossbow ever. Measuring an ultra narrow six inches wide, the Stealth NXT unleashes devastating speeds up to 410 feet per second, generating jaw dropping kinetic energy and match grade downrange accuracy, all on a whisper quiet shot, three times quieter than the competition. The all-new Stealth NXT from 10 Point. Introducing the all-new 4K camera by Stealth Cam. Proven. When I was in Special Ops, every item had a purpose, or it got left behind. It's no different today. If it doesn't protect me, or help me perform at the highest level, I've got no use for it. Otherwise, I don't come back with whatever it is I set out to get Wiley X ballistic rated eyewear welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton Wade is in an old remodeled box blind and the deer he's looking for just showed up intense. I love hunting with this gun. It's so much fun. You know, being able to practice with it, being able to shoot it a lot. It's just an addiction when you get a chance to go hunt with these handguns. This is the 460 Smith & West Magnum from the Performance Center. I took a great buck last year, open sights. This year I wanted to try it with a scope. I mean, red dots. I mean, there's so many different ways you can configure these handgun so you can be able to go out and do something. That's a big eight point right there that we've seen on scouting cameras. And uh, this is an old blind that we've had fun rebuilding, doing some things too. Got in here, it's got some special memories and uh, we just put more memories on the, on the table right there. That was really awesome. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right, we gave him a little bit of time. I'm gonna ease back over here and take a peek and just kind of nose in, see what kind of sign. This is always that nervous time for me. <laughs> I 
starting to get lots of splattered blood all through here. Look at it all on this rock. All out through here. All through here. All through here. Oh, look at that. There's a good puddle right there. We'll probably... Look here. Here's more. He's bleeding pretty good now. He is right there. There he is right there. That's pretty awesome when you have a chance like that at a big, big buck and he's still, you know, a deer that gets you excited and you get a chance to practice with guns like this and shoot them a lot. And, you know, I can't say enough about this handgun right here and its performance when every time I get to go shoot it. I mean, it just never gets old. Have a chance to go hunt with this. Let's go get our hands on him. I mean, look at this buck right here. I mean, what an awesome eight point right here. Look at the twos and the threes on him. He's an old fighter brawler. He's got some damage here. Look at the holes and the scars up there around his neck. Thank you. What a deer. What an old buck. God, I mean, that's a war horse right there. The stories this guy could tell. Thank you. Learn more about hunting handguns by going to smith-wesson.com. Congratulations, Wade, on your handgun entry into the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. Well, that'll do it for this episode, and we'll see you next time. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. That smells good. And then pouring each container. Once it's cooled, each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom from Conquest Scents. Purina's Quick Drop is the perfect solution for attracting deer to your location and providing them with the essential nutrients that will encourage their growth. Use these blocks where you can and I promise you, not only are you going to see more game, but the game's going to benefit from you placing it out.